Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you an easy lasagna recipe. There are many variations of this recipe but this is the way I make it for my family. The ingredients are listed here but you can choose the type of meat you want. I've chosen chicken for this dish. I'll chop the onions and I'm going to make them golden fry and at the same time in a separate pot I'll put some water to boil and I'm going to add some salt into it and in this hot boiling water when it boils I'm going to add lasagna sheets. When the onions are brown, I'm going to add some crushed garlic to it. I used 4-5 to five cloves of garlic and I'm going to fry both of them together for a couple of minutes. At the same time, I'll keep an eye on the water just to make sure it's hot enough for the lasagna sheets. Once this is done, I'll add chicken to it. I'll mix them together nicely so that all the chicken is covered with the oil. You can adjust the cooking time according to the meat you are using. For chicken, I'll fry it for more than 15-20 minutes and leave it for cooking for another 10 minutes because I like to make it well cooked. Add some oil to the hot water and then I will drop the lasagna sheets into it. You can choose any type of lasagna sheets available to you and you can follow the instructions, cooking instructions on the pack. I like to cook my lasagna for a few seconds and then add it to the dish. Some lasagna sheets don't need any cooking. Just added a vegetable stock pot to the chicken mince because it gives a very nice taste to it. This step is entirely optional. If you want to add it, it's entirely up to you. You can even add a chicken cube to it just to give it, just to enhance the flavor. At this point, I will add vegetables to it. You can use any vegetables available, either frozen or fresh. I have frozen with me at the minute, so I will add two packs of frozen vegetables. It has carrots, broccoli and peas. I will add some extra corns to it as well. I will fry both the vegetables and mince together until the vegetables are soft. I will also keep an eye on my lasagna sheets because I don't have to cook them for more than 5 to 8 minutes. For me, cooking is fun, experimenting and loving the creation. So when I'm cooking, I hardly measure anything apart from all the spices. But yes, when I'm cooking, I do taste on the way so that if there are any adjustments to be made, I'll do it straight away. Also, when I'm cooking, I just tidy up straight away. I don't leave it till the end that when I finish, then I will have to tidy up, but I just tidy up side by side. It's time to drain the lasagna sheets. Once they are drained, I will leave the lasagna sheets into cold water for a couple of minutes. This will help me handling the lasagna in a better way and then that's where they will get separated from each other really well. I will fry the chicken and the vegetables for a couple of minutes more and now I'll add some crushed black pepper to it and some salt as well. I will empty the jar into the chicken mixture 
and add some water into the jar shake it well and then put that water into the chicken mixture again at this point i'm going to put the flame a bit low and mix it well till both of them are combined together The lasagna sheets have rested for a couple of minutes into cold water. Now I'm going to take them off and once the meat is ready, I will start assembling into a dish. Be adding chili flakes and salt to my dish it's entirely optional if you want to add chili flakes we like it a bit spicy that's why i added them i will preheat my gas oven between four and five and now i will start assembling the lasagna sheets and the mince mixture there is no hard and fast rule of assembling this dish at the base, I put the creamy sauce and on top of that lasagna sheets and the mince mixture. And on top of that, I will put creamy sauce again and layer of cheese. I'm adding two types of cheese, mozzarella and cheddar cheese, and I will add handfuls at each step. I'm using Dolmio white creamy sauce, which I like most. It's very nice and creamy. You can use any other brand as you wish. I will repeat this step again until the lasagna sheets and the mince are all finished and all or in the dish. Once this is all ready, I will sprinkle some oregano and some chili flakes on it. In a separate pot, I made it for Eliza because Eliza doesn't eat spicy. So while I was frying, I took out some mince from the pot before adding the chili flakes. I will leave the lasagna in the oven for approximately 15 to 20 minutes or until it is golden brown from the top. It's all nice, ready and golden from the top after 20 minutes and I will leave it to rest for a couple of minutes. The yummy, creamy and cheesy lasagna is ready. It doesn't take much of your time and it's a very, very quick recipe. You can make any adjustment to this recipe as per your needs. My children and my family like it this way. I hope you like this recipe. Do give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you all soon. Bye.